In this video we're going to be making the mouth, the ears and the neck of the boy. For the neck, what we'll do is make sure you're in edge mode. Select these edges. Select loop. Push E for extender and stretch it so that it's more like this stretch it down making it flat and what i'll do is i will i will stretch it make this is shift h to reduce it in all sides t to move or position it like that i'll stretch it from this side and stretch it like that to make it fit following the reference E for extender again move it stretch it so that we're following the image stretch it some more let's keep going down okay I'll stretch it to you there and here I'll try to fit the chest on the right side and the shoulders on the back side okay I'll stretch one more time or I'll extend one more time and let me just fit this here Stretch it here. Okay. Let's see what we have so far. Okay, this is good. I like. We continue. So for the ears, I'll select these polygons and I'll delete them. I'll position these around the area where the ear seems to be starting from I'll go back to my 3D object and make sure these things are actually aligned they look okay because if we start extruding like this because if we start extruding like this things might just go out go into another layer so I'll go back to create get a disk and I'll create a disk with eight sides one segment and I'll thicken it on the back side select these faces and delete them I'll get the thickening tool on the right side I'll thicken this inwards okay push space on the keyboard to, to deactivate that too and I'll position it around the ear and what I want is this outer layer to follow the outer part of the ear and the inner part to follow the inner part of the ear more like this Okay, this looks good enough. So I'll select these faces on the back of the ear and delete those. Okay, now I'll select these edges, select loop. Okay, I'll stretch this out like so. Then I'll push the extrude to the E for the extender to and I'll extend them like that. Okay, right, let me push these inwards a bit. Let them go in. Okay, in point mode, I will select these points here. Make sure you select them in order, four points, and push P on the keyboard to create a face like that one. So we'll continue doing this. Select four more at the bottom, okay, like so. Okay, if you can't select a point, just zoom in or select it from the bottom, from the right view. And we've got those faces inside. So 
stretching these things when you have patched them is not a very good idea so what you do is you go back to the edge mode and you know i'll make this a bit thinner extrude and i'll stretch them just make them smaller extend some more bring it out like this select these edges and I'll move them in and just shrink them so that they they're the same size with the hole that I made on the head for the ears now rotate this okay and position this right on the ear I'll move that down because I want to to merge all those points to the head that's the main idea here okay so let me just position them like so i think the best thing is we move this object to the layer where the head is in i'll select this whole ear push tab on the keyboard and well we have it round and smooth now so i'll select these faces here in front select loop and i want to move them out a bit to make the ear thicker and i'll rotate it just like that so that the top part can be thinner and the lower part a bit thicker okay i'll still select this select loop again and i'll move the points one by one yeah that looks good okay i'll select the whole ear and mirror it shift v on the keyboard and then push n for numeric then you can cancel that once you're done okay it's mirrored push space to deactivate let's zoom in now what we need to do is weld the points of the ear to the head so i'll move in close select a point oops i need to be in point mode deselect all these polygons point mode select that point to that one Control w to weld I'll do the same to the next one, that one to that one, this one to this one. This is the same reason why when we're making a disc it had eight, eight uh, points because the hole that I made on the head actually had uh, eight points. So you want them to be the same number. Okay, and that, oops, I missed that one. Uh, it's that one to that point there okay so okay we're getting there this looks good this looks good okay and now all we need to do is just tweak it a little bit so that it looks good so I'll just start tweaking this thing so that it fits the drawing and it also uh, looks smooth and clean
so from what we were doing it's like i did i forgot to, to turn on the symmetry so what i'll do is i'll select one side of this head and delete it then i'll push shift v on the keyboard and for numeric space to deactivate now i've mirrored it and you can see they both sides look so identical and it's actually looking good okay this is nice okay i think i need to tweak this part of the ear just a bit so what i'll do is uh let me select that okay make sure the symmetry is on this time and just tweak those points to till they look they look better they look good okay if you want you can actually do this in the the 3d view that looks much much better now looks much much better okay Okay, so we'll start by selecting the edges on the mouth, select loop, push E for extender and drag them inwards just a bit, push extender again and then pull it inside, stretch it inwards just to make it straight. Okay, I think what I'll do is I'll move the points one by one here. So remember to always move your points. Make sure you put your points in line before you start extruding some more because things don't look very nice if you continue extruding without fixing the points. Okay, we continue, extend again. So I'll make this a bit larger than the first one. Okay, so I'll move it outwards. Okay, let's fix the points again. Make sure you've got a, 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 an oval kind of shape this side. Extrude, move it backwards, stretch it to make it straight. And then, okay, just widen it this side. Okay, let's fix those points. Let's fix these points here. Okay, we are good. This is how far what we've come up with. Okay, if we extend again, drag. So this will be the like the largest extrusion I'll make this side. Okay, I'll just move it sideways this side and make another. Extend it some more, straighten it. Okay, now let's start making it smaller. Extend some more. Okay. Drag it there. Okay, let's see what we have. Okay, let's reduce the size. Even this side, we'll stretch it in and then I'll move it in with the move tool just to make it round. Okay, let's rotate it facing down because this has to go more like the throat. Extend some more. Let's reduce that. Even this side, stretch it. Rotate this side. Okay and let's extend it some more let's make it straight here and reduce the size this side and this looks good okay let's see what we have before we go in too far let's add the tongue in here and Okay, so we'll select these here, these polygons, and I'll push E for extender, drag it up a bit, extend again, drag it forward, rotate, extender, move, and I think that's it. Though I think it's a bit too thick, so what I'll do is hold down control and closing bracket to extend your selection, and I'll move it down like so. Control opening bracket reduces the selection. So I'll just make it like this. Okay, 
okay i think i should move this one a bit more in front okay and what i want is my tongue to be a bit roundish in front like a bit pointy so i'll rotate it from the top view remember i've got your symmetry on down there so leave that on and it will curve like this so that's our tongue okay i'll select this uh, edge on top of the tongue i'll select it from here on the right view okay i think just here rotate it a bit and then move it in okay like that i think this is good enough let's see what we have so far okay i like what we have that's good that's good and the lips you know most of the time we tend to have lips that are way too sharp which is not good so I'll select this edge select loop and i will just move it backwards like in to make it thicker to make the lip thicker okay i think this is this looks good okay so i want to close the mouth so let's select the edges that are on top only because if you move them one by one it will give you a big hassle move them down like that and then just follow the the image and we've got that okay so like subscribe if you haven't seen my previous videos please i would recommend you go to part one you start you start this lesson and we'll see you in part four